Hey guys, welcome to another edition of uh, Mandela Effects. Uh, welcome all Mandela Effectings to my channel. And do I have a big one for you? Uh, this Mandela Effect is huge. I looked online, I searched far and wide, and I haven't seen anybody post this yet. Um, I found a brand new Mandela Effect. Actually, this one goes out to my friend Glenn, one of my subscribers, um, who informed me about this video. This is uh, Madonna's True Blue. Obviously, I can't play the lyrics for you guys because I don't want to have any copyright infringements. But um, as you watch the video, Madonna's dancing with her friends, and then she's sitting in this beautiful, classic-style uh, 1957 Thunderbird. However, there's only there's two problems with that. For one thing, it's not the original Chevrolet that we remember. And secondly, it doesn't even go with the song. It's not the romantic color blue like it's supposed to be. It's, it's pure white. So that kind of offsets the entire video, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it, it's almost like a, a black sheep among white sheep or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it just seems off. Um, so anyway, um, I have some interesting evidence to present to you. I found an uh, article here. Actually, Teresa helped me find this one. Uh, this is Madonna and her cars, music videos versus real life. I'll post the link in the description. Um, Madonna has had some stunning cars featured in her videos. Here we take a, a look at how they compare to what she drives in real life. Okay. So right in here, in the video, Madonna revved the... Um, okay, hold on. Let me go down here. Sorry, guys. Madonna looks so innocent in the true blue video driving her car with her girlfriends and it is hard to believe that's actually her the ford thunderbird 1957 is also in very romantic colors and completes the video's 50s theme um, the phantom is a very modern car and it's an experiment so that, no wonder why madonna loves it it was specifically manufactured to show the public that a luxury car could be an electric one, too. Okay, so that's talking about the second one. Okay, but so obviously, um, okay, so, so the color is blue. The car is supposed to be a light blue color. However, it's white in this reality. And if you come over here, um, I can see where the mix-up might have happened. Um, you know, because obviously this car looks a lot like this car. The Thunderbirds at the time looked a lot like the Chevys, okay, with the headlights and all that. The only difference was in the front logo, basically. But, you know, all these cars kind of looked the same back then. So it, it very well could have been a 1957 Thunderbird, but it, for sure, uh, Glenn remembers it being blue. So for Glenn out there, this video goes out to you, buddy. Thank you for finding this one. Have a great Mandela Effect night, guys. Don't forget to vote, hit that like, and subscribe for me. Thank you for checking out my channel. God bless.